Uepa! What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the latest edition of One The Bomb Cooking Channel. One of the questions I get asked is, um, when I started doing this, is how do you determine which dishes uh, to do? And there's two ways. One, um, I started getting requests from people and I kind of work it into uh, my schedule. And the other way is I look at and I follow up what's happening in a lot of food groups that I belong to on Facebook. And people ask questions, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? So I've kind of compiled a list uh, based on, on that because, you know, I have this, this thing of what I want to do. But if you're going to follow me, I want to, to show you and teach you how to make the things that you're asking for. And it just makes a whole lot more sense for me to do it that way. So here we are. Uh, today we're going to do something really basic and it's easy and has been requested several times. Café con leche. Now, you would think making coffee is like the easiest thing, but I could tell you, you could be in one house and you could go to a different house and a different house, all using the same ingredients and the same things, and the coffee will taste different from one house to the other. So, the best coffee I ever had was from my, uh, my second family that lives out in Florida now, uh, that's the Vega family. Uh, Victor Vega, who's uh, like my second dad, who's uh, passed on, he would make, him and his wife would make the best cafe con leche. It, it came out perfect, creamy, delicious. So I'm dedicating this episode to Victor and uh, the Vega family, who I love down in uh, Florida. So here you go, Miriam. Check it out. So basically, the, what, the first thing you want to do is, what do I need to make cafe con leche? The most important thing is the coffee. What kind of coffee do you use? Um, there's different types of Spanish coffees. You got Cafe Caribe, uh, Pilon. Our personal favorite is Bustelo. Um, that's uh, what we drink. I've uh, been drinking that for forever. Uh, I'm 55 years old. As long as I could remember, it's always been Cafe Bustelo. Um, and the only time I use anything else is if, uh, like, if the supermarket is out of Café Bustelo, then I'll go to Pilon, which is also good, but I just prefer uh, Café Bustelo. Um, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a colador. Now, this is what we use. It's a sock. I'm going to show you how we use that in a couple of minutes. Okay. Now, when we make our Café con Leche, um, I'm going to be making a, a single cup. And I just, so I use my, my little uh, pot there. But we're gonna make like for multiple uh, cups because if we have a lot of people here, they want Spanish coffee, this is the pot we use. It's a thin pot uh, to boil the water in and the coffee. And then um, you move on from that. All right, so um, get ready because here we go. Okay, as you can see, uh, I have a little bit of coffee already um, boiling. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get my milk and pour some milk and I'll put it on this side because we want to heat up that milk. We don't want to burn the milk, but we want to heat it up really nice. So once several people do it differently, this is the way I was taught to do it. Some people actually put the coffee and the water together and boil it. Um, I was taught to boil the coffee first then take it off the pot, add the coffee, stir it, and then put it back on. Now, one of the uh, the issues with putting the coffee and the water together is as it boil, it'll boil over quicker. And you never add the coffee onto the boiling water because what will happen also, as soon as you add that coffee, it'll just boil over and you're gonna get coffee and stuff all over the place. So, I'm gonna grab my coffee. Now, the trick is how much coffee to use when you're making cafe con leche. Um, the only danger with this is using not enough. Now, if you ever read this, the side of a coffee can, it'll say one tablespoon per six ounces of water. Um, that's for standard coffee. For cafe con leche, 
you are gonna use a little bit more than that because you want it to be fuerte. You want it to be nice and strong. And that's the key. If you don't use enough uh, coffee in your um, in your water, then your coffee is gonna come out weak and you're not gonna have that same taste. Also, you want that color. So we're just gonna add, I would add about three of these scoops for my one cup of, of cafe. Oh, that's a lot. No, it ain't, because it tastes good. So then I wanna grab a spoon and I wanna stir this up a little bit. And then what I do is I put it right back on and let that uh, simmer uh, a little bit. Um, I don't let it overflow, I just watch it. So I got my coffee brewing. Now this is the mug that I wanna be using. This mug belonged to uh, Victor, my uh, my second dad. Uh, when he passed away, his wife gave it to me. This is the, the cup that he used uh, when he had his little cafecito. And it has an awesome um, words on here it says wherever you go you'll always have a friend and then it says life's truest happiness is found in the friendship we make along the way and which is true because he was more than a friend he was my my second dad and he was also the best man at my wedding and him his passing left a hole in my heart but i know um, because of um, my faith that I will see him again. So anyway, the coffee is starting to boil up. And if you could you see that? Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. It's starting to uh, simmer up again. Now, if you can see my milk, my milk is also starting to bubble up a little bit. And it is starting to boil again. And you see how it's starting to simmer up. You don't want it to overflow because then you have a mess. Okay, now we're good to go. Now we're gonna do use the colador. You just take your coffee and you just pour it in the sock. Okay, now we're getting ready to add uh, the coffee to the uh, cup. Now here's the thing with the milk. Now if you're making a single cup, when once you heat up the milk, you notice how it has like that, that film on the top that comes from heating up milk, obviously. Um, there's two ways to do it. If you're making a single cup, uh, I would just blow on it as I pour it just to hold the 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 the, um, the milk um, over on the side. Or you could just do take a dry spoon and then just run it through. And then it'll just hold up the milk. Um, and collect the uh, that milk. Okay, baby. Oh, we're there. And of course, some of the some of it will come through. That's not a big deal. I'm gonna stir it up, and if you can see, we have a perfect color. A perfect, perfect, perfect color. Oh yeah, baby, boom, 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 there it is. A perfect cup of cafe con leche. All right, now we're ready for the one, the bomb taste. Espérate, 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 no puedo. I can't do it, I can't do it, it's incomplete. You cannot have cafe con leche without crackers and cheese. Can't do it, boom, so what are we gonna do? Crackers and cheese, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me get my plato. My queso. 
and my crackers. All right, check it out. Hey, I if you haven't had crackers out of a can, you have never had crackers before. Let me tell you something. There's nothing like crackers out of a can. Now, what's cool about these Goya crackers is not only that it comes in these awesome cans, and again, I grew up with crackers in a can. It's, it's crazy. They come individually wrapped. So I'm going to open up one of these. Take out two crackers. Uno. Boom. Dos. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, baby. Perate, perate. It looks so lonely there. I know what it needs. It needs mantequilla. Oh, yeah, baby. Mantequilla, mantequilla, donde tu ta. Okay, we're gonna get some mantequilla. Let me get me a butter knife. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the crackers is just like talking. Hi. Thanks for the covering. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 baby. There it is. Okay. Mantequilla. All right. There we go, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. Put that up. Let me put this away. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That what we got? Oh, nothing like crackers, baby. Out of the can. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to move my coffee over to the side. We're going to get cheese. What kind of cheese? Whatever cheese you like. Cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese. You can't have cafe con leche without queso blanco, baby. That's my favorite, queso blanco. Now that's usually, you usually serve queso blanco with uh, pasta de guayaba, but um, I get down with queso blanco, I see. So I'm just gonna cut me a couple of pieces. This is my cheese cutter. Boom, uno. Ido. All right, baby. Put that back. Put one there, I see. The otro, I see. Ah, oh, baby, that's a work of art right there. You have no idea. Mira eso, mira que lindo. Ay, as I say all the time, que lindo. Yeah, baby. All right, now getting ready for the one, the bomb taste test. All right, babe. So I'm gonna get me some of this uh, cheese and crackers. I'm gonna break that up. Oh yeah, mira eso. Mmm, hi, que rico. Now to wash it down with some cafe con leche. Mmm, hi, oh man. Mmm, right there, baby. that's a cup of coffee. Cafe con leche. Hey, a couple of shout outs first and foremost to my family in, in Florida, the Vega family. I'm uh, Miriam, my second mom. Love you. Uh, Pastor Eric, his wife Kelly, um, and the kids. Um, Ilana, um, Tutti, love you guys. Um, I dedicated this uh, to Pops, and uh, just want you to know that I, I love you, and I'll be seeing everyone soon. So I just want to close out with a, a word from, um, from the Bible, from the Word of God. And of course, if I'm doing coffee, there's only one book I, I could use in the Bible, and that's Hebrews, because Hebrews coffee, get it? Ho, ho. So, hey, Hebrews 10, 24. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. If we focus on good works and we focus on love to one another, we'll just make this place, um, this earth, this planet, this state, this country uh, a much better place. So in everything that you do, be Christ-like with love and do good things for other people. And good things will come to you. Hey, this is Wanda Bomb signing out. Love you guys. Uh, check out uh, future videos. Do me a favor. On the bottom of the screen, you see subscribe. Just tap on subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, share my videos and like them. 
God bless and have a wonderful day.